Sawadika. Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today we're gonna make a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time because I get a lot, a lot of questions about all the different sauces that I use, and people seem to be a little bit unclear about what they all are, and quite understandably. Look at them all. How could you not be confused, right? So this is hopefully the video that's going to settle this account. I'm going to talk about them and clarify what they are, how they're different, what you can use to substitute brands and things like that. We'll cover it all. So the first sauce we're going to talk about is one of the most basic sauces that you should probably have if you cook Thai food a lot. It's what we call s i u k a o literally translated as white soy sauce, even though it's not white, but it's. Named that way to distinguish it from the other black soy sauce, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Now, this is what I refer to in my recipes as soy sauce. It is what we consider our regular soy sauce, if there's such a thing. So Thai soy sauce is different from Chinese and Japanese and Korean soy sauces. So if you're not, if you can't find the Thai one, you can substitute other kinds of soy sauce. Just make sure that you taste. And adjust your seasoning because the flavor and the saltiness is going to be different. Now, tasting and adjusting your food is something you should be already doing, so nothing new here. So Thai soy sauce bottle that I use looks like this. It's Healthy Boy brand. Why I chose Healthy Boy brand? I like the flavor, but beyond that, it's one of the most, if not the most, widely available Thai soy sauce. Outside of Thailand, so very few places will offer multiple brands, and this is usually the one. So most of the time, you won't have a choice. And this particular bottle, this might get a little confusing. There are two types of s i u k a o There's the regular s i u k a o and there's the mushroom s i u k a o And this is mushroom soy sauce. Okay, which is basically the regular soy sauce infused with the mushroom flavor. They are completely interchangeable in all recipes. It's just a matter of preference which one people choose. I don't have a bottle of the regular one to show you because I couldn't find any. But normally the bottle will look like this with a yellow label. Okay, just whatever you have is perfectly fine. So that is our soy sauce. The second sauce we're gonna talk about is. I like to consider it the sister of soy sauce, and it's because it is soy sauce. It's just got a little bit of a different flavor and character. So it's what in Thai we call s a t p r u n g r o t which is literally translated as seasoning sauce, which I know doesn't really explain anything. Which is why I don't really use that word. I usually call this sauce by its brand name, Golden Mountain, which is. Probably the most widely available one out there. Maggie seasoning is another one that's quite widely available. They will serve the same function. They're both what we consider s a t p u n g r o t Now, Maggie and Golden Mountain sauce taste different, so it's a matter of preference which one you choose. But bear in mind that they will, you know, contribute something a little different. If you cannot find this, you can substitute regular soy sauce in the same amount. And I like to use this in combination of regular soy sauce because you know it's it adds a little bit of a complexity to the dish because then you're introducing a new flavor, right? But this one is generally a little bit darker in color, and also the the smell is a little bit more intense, so it's a bit stronger. But as far as saltiness go, they're com they're comparable. So that is our sauce brung r o t So our next sauce is oyster sauce. Now oyster sauce, most people are pretty familiar with it. It's a pretty common ingredient. It's got a thick consistency like this. It's great in stir fries. I use it sometimes in meat marinades. A, an important ingredient in a Thai kitchen. We use it quite often. Now brand wise, this is m a k r u a brand, which is a pretty classic Thai brand. However, you do not need to use this. Other brands, even the ones that are not from Thailand, are fine. Like Panda brand is pretty good. The only thing you want to watch for when you shop for oyster sauce is that oyster is the first ingredient on the list, either oyster or oyster extracts. Okay, because there are cheap variations out there that have very little oysters and then just a bunch of salt and starches and thickeners and whatnot added to it. Storage-wise, you want to keep. Oyster sauce in the fridge because it does get mold on it. I've seen mold on oyster sauce. Soy sauces that we've talked about don't need to worry about them too much. But if you don't use them 
often, I would keep them in the fridge anyway just to prolong its, the flavor. The flavor might deteriorate if you keep it outside for too long. But oyster sauce, definitely you want to keep this one in the fridge. The next one is we're still in the world of soy sauces. This one is called black soy sauce or siu dam. Now this sauce we use primarily for added color. You add a little splash and your dish will turn a nice brown color. It's great for stir fries and barbecued meats and whatnot. It is not very salty. In fact, it is more sweet than it is salty. So it's got a lot of sugar in it. But normally when we use si udam, you don't really taste it. And if you do taste it, you've added too much because it's got like a, that bitter molasses flavor. And when you can taste it, it doesn't taste good on its own, trust me. So it's quite thick. It's thick, but it's not like syrup thick. And that's a point I want to mention because there is another kind of soy sauce that is often confused with this one. And that's sweet soy sauce. Sweet soy sauce, a lot of times will come in the same bottle. If it's this brand, the lid will be blue, but everything else otherwise looks exactly the same, except for, you know, the label where it says sweet soy sauce rather than black soy sauce. Sweet soy sauce is very sweet and it will be thick, like almost like halfway between honey and maple syrup. And that sauce I've never used in any of my videos because we usually use it to make dips and things like that, dipping sauces. So we don't use it as a cooking ingredient as much. So it's not something you need to worry about. I just want to mention it so that when you go shopping, you can look for the right one, black soy sauce. Now to substitute, there are soy sauces out there that are labeled dark soy sauce, okay? Now the word, the label dark soy sauce covers a lot of different types of soy sauces and some of them are quite dark and you can use them as a substitute to add some color but they're also usually saltier than this so you may need to cut down a little bit on your other salting agents so it's just something to think about um, not absolutely necessary but if you cook Thai food often it's definitely handy to have on hand our next sauce is what we call tau jiao, or in English, fermented soybean paste. And that's exactly what it is. It's fermented soybeans. You can see the beans. And it's a paste. So we, I've used this in, a, in three different dishes so far. In rat na, which is a noodle dish, as a dipping sauce for my Hainanese chicken rice. And also in my water spinach stir fry that I put up recently. It's salty, but it's also got an, an interesting sharp acidity that soy sauce doesn't have. So it's usually used in combination with soy sauce to achieve a different flavor profile. It's not absolutely necessary that you have it because it's not used too often. If you run into a recipe that uses tau jiao, there are two good substitutes. One is tau si or for, uh, Chinese salted black beans, which are actually soybeans. And another one is miso paste, which you can dilute it a little bit so you get sort of the same consistency and then you get sort of the same ballpark flavor. So that is tau jiao. Oh, and you want to keep this in the fridge, especially because most of the time you won't be using this one very often. And the last sauce is, I'm going to say, the single most important sauce that we have in our Thai kitchen, and that is fish sauce. We use it in almost everything. And if I ever need like an extra seasoning on the table, we add fish sauce. So this is, if you were to have one sauce, this is the one. The biggest question that I have is, what is the best brand? People seem to be quite concerned about fish sauce brands. And while I have not tried all brands out there, I will tell you what I used. I used this one, which is squid brand. And, but at home in Thailand, we use Tiparot, which is equally good. There's three crafts brand, which is more expensive, but it's got a really mellow, smooth flavor. So if you're getting into fish sauce, cooking with fish sauce and you want to start with something that's not too pungent, that's a really good one to start with. And I like to use that for like dips and things like that, where the fish sauce flavor is quite, uh, where the fish sauce is the major ingredient. Okay, so moving on, the thing that you want to look for when you shop for fish sauce is you want a new fresh bottle. So in addition to looking at the date of manufacture, you want to make sure the color is reddish brown and it should be translucent. You should lift the bottle and see the other side of the room because as fish sauce ages, it gets more opaque. But in addition to opaqueness, it is also kind of, you know, fishy in a bad way. So a fresh bottle, you should smell it and you're like, hmm, this is fishy, but nice. But if it's old, it'd be like, 
gah, this is fishy and not nice. So it's very important. I, this is the reason why I keep my fish sauce in the fridge because it slows down that aging and makes sure the lid is on tightly. In Thailand, we usually don't keep fish sauce in the fridge because we use it every day and so it goes very quickly. But I keep it in the fridge anyway just to prolong its quality. So when you pour fish sauce out into a little bowl, it should be clear. You should be able to see through to the bottom of the bowl. So that is fish sauce. So that concludes my rundown of all the different sauces that I used. Well, I shouldn't say all because these, what we just talked about, is all the salty sauces, which tend to be the things that people are unclear about. If you still have questions, or if I didn't cover anything that you've been wanting to know, feel free to contact me through social media or through my website, hotthaikitchen.com. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.